welcome to Creator Spotlight. We are here this week with Seb, who has done some incredible, technically challenging rooms that push the limits beyond what we even expect from the tools we put out most of the time. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, yeah. hi, I'm Seb. I'm 21 years old, and I currently live in Germany, where I'm studying computer science and also working as a programmer in a local startup. And what platform do you play on? I'm playing on the HTC Vive. Okay, and how long have you been playing Rec Room for? Oh, that's a long time. I started last year in April around, so I don't oh, okay. quite remember when, but okay. around then. Um, some of your rooms have been just incredible for us to see. One of the first ones that really amazed us was Tetris Circuit, um, which for those of you who haven't played it is a working Tetris game. I think we broke it on you now, but at the time <laughs> it was a working Tetris game, which was incredible to see. What was your motivation yeah. <laughs> for working on a project like that? It was just uh, the fun of working with something that's so limited, but also unknown in the scope you could do. So it was just the process of exploring the possibilities because they weren't really known at the time back then. And, uh, right. You also had one of the first go-kart rooms that we had. What was the process like building that room? Oh yeah, the go-kart room. So I remember this, we just got the gizmos and I was wondering what you could do with them. You could do like crazy animations and stuff, but one thing that people always wanted was a go-kart and so right. I thought maybe you could make that, but, but then everybody noticed that you can't really move players around and that was a bit of a shame. So then things went on and some, some, uh, someday the idea came to just make the ground move instead. And that was then basically it. So there were some difficulties really making the gizmos as precise and really right. position them where you want them. And, and also there were some other challenges with uh, figuring out the maps that you don't go in a straight line, but also can go diagonally instead. And, right. It was crazy and, going <laughs> in that room the first time I went. Like I could not believe it was a working go-kart. It was amazing. I also want to talk a little bit about this room, which is the coaster. I love this coaster. Um, <laughs> what was the biggest challenge in building this room in particular? Because this looks like it must have taken a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this room, all in all, only it, it wasn't that hard to build. It was the, the rooms before it that served as a base for this room that were hard to build. Right, so. fair. This room, <laughs> this room in particular only took two days. So I started with making the track and then just building the environment in the next day. But actually the room before it, that was the plane room. So the way this worked is it's basically just a plane that has its input animated. So okay, m maybe you have seen my other room where you can fly a plane and this room just animates the joystick and then you go behind the plane and animate it step for step until you build out a track, the whole loops, or hundred parts of it. <laughs> yeah. Was fun. And <laughs> yeah, and basically just the animation now plays and track is just decoration around it. Yeah. And yeah. And that plane room actually took weeks to build. So there was some math involved and, and anyone who has tried to do math with circuits might, might know that. It's not the easiest thing. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> a fair some, assessment. Yeah, there, there were some errors made and some signs mixed. And yeah. <laughs> it was, <laughs> Could you give us some of your top tips for working with circuits and gizmos? Because I know a lot of people find that really intimidating. So I think you probably have something valuable to add for people who are just getting started. So, so I think the best thing is outside of knowing all the circuits and what they do and checking out the wiki, it's really good, is to have a really good music playlist that you can just play while you're building. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then, then you can grind for hours. And <laughs> at the end, it just comes out. That's awesome. And maybe for other more valuable tricks is if you're having a big project and you don't really know where to start, and, Try to think and dividing your whole project into smaller and smaller components until you have like the smallest component you can think of and then start with that and just start building and build the bigger component and then connect this two bigger components together and 
all in all, you just have done the whole project. Thanks so much to Seb for joining us this week. Be sure to like and subscribe below for more Rec Room content, and we'll see you next week on Creator Spotlight.